新宿 is a city in the west of Tokyo city center. Tokyo's metropolitan government is located in Shinjuku, so I can say Shinjuku is one of the core of Tokyo. Every town of Tokyo has different vibes Asakusa for tradition and tourism, Shibuya for young crowd, Tokyo Station side for business and shopping. And Shinjuku is everything. It's a town who feels with diversity in many ways. The terminal attracts young to seniors for shopping, school, office, and to have some fun at the night town. Shinjuku is a city that you feel the power of people and you'd be blended in the crowd no matter where you're from. But you might wonder what you can do in Shinjuku actually. So today's topic is Shinjuku. I'll show you around how to spend your time in Shinjuku and show you what Shinjuku is like. First, let me explain the Shinjuku's map quickly so you can get a snapshot of how to get around Shinjuku. The major area of Shinjuku is surrounded by Shinjuku Chuo Park and Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. There is Shinjuku Terminal in the middle, and the west side of the station is mostly tall buildings, including Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, and the east side is mainly shopping streets. The iconic Isetan department store is on the corner of Shinjuku San Chome. There is also Shinjuku San Chome subway station in underground. Shinjuku San Chome also turns into dining streets after evening. When you are in Japan, you might hear this San Chome or a number followed by this word Chome. San is a number, three, and Chome is a word used to explain the address. One is Ich Chome, two is Ni Chome, and three is San Chome. Shinjuku Ni Chome and Ich Chome is an area in the north of Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden, with many condos and offices mixed. Shinjuku Nichome is known as an area represent LGBT scenes of Japan, and Ichome is a rather quiet area and you see local places to eat and small supermarkets. The north side of this major street called Yasukuni is Kabukicho, mostly known as a night town, but recently many large hotels are opening. Now that we understand the map of Shinjuku, let's go to the city. Let's start the day with fresh aired Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden is a large garden with several different themes garden inside. You can see Japanese style garden, western style garden, and lots of grass field. If you are visiting from mid March to early April, it's a must visit area since Shinjuku Gyoen is a famous for cherry blossom. There are many famous spots to see cherry blossom in Tokyo, but there aren't many places that you can open your picnic blanket and enjoy lunchbox under the trees. So Shinjuku Gyoen is the perfect spot to enjoy what we call ohanami, which means thin cherry blossom. The only con is alcohol and sports are prohibited since it's not considered as a park. Another great thing about Shinjuku Gyoen is you can enjoy different types of cherry blossom trees. So even if you come a little too early or too late, you can enjoy some flowers. Even if you are not coming to the cherry blossom seasons, you can still enjoy the greenery and have a relaxed moment. It's also a good idea to purchase lots of food in the department stores and enjoy in the park. The admission to entry is 500 yen. In case you enter the park several times during your stay, you can make this annual pass for 2000 yen. After enjoying the garden, let's eat lunch. You see lots of restaurants in Shinjuku that has lots of people lining up. And I chose this restaurant called Yamashita Honki Udon, which I noticed people are lining up recently. They have two stores in Shinjuku, and I tried this one in San Chome. It's an udon shop, but not just a udon shop. Their special is this udon covered with mentaiko, which is a fish egg, and whipped cream. I didn't know what to expect, and when I saw the photo on the menu, I thought it's just an egg meringue but it was a sweet whipped cream. Yes, the same as we see on the cake. And actually, it was really good. Now let's look around shops in Shinjuku San Chome. Some stores you might want to drop by is Isetan on the corner of Shinjuku San Chome. The Isetan is the most selling department stores in Tokyo, and the underground food section is vibrant and it's spectacular to see all the different deli and Japanese and Western sweets. On the same Shinjuku street, 
There is a store called Sekaido. This is a stationery shop that you can see all the different Japanese stationeries. Takashima is another department store in the south exit of Shinjuku Station. It has many selection of restaurants that you can relax. It also has a nice view deck overlooking Shinjuku Gyoen and Tokyo City Center. Now let's look at Shinjuku Station. Shinjuku Station is the most busy station in the world. It has a record that 3.5 million people use per one day, according to the Guinness record. In addition to JR Yamanote Line, the JR Shinjuku Station has major commuter lines to suburb, and there are two private railways, Odakyu and Keio's Terminal is also connected. Above the new south exit of Shinjuku Station, there is a bus terminal called Basta. It's a hub of bus to the airports and all over Japan. And the major route going to Osaka leaves from Tokyo Station and stop by here before leaving Tokyo. In case you visit Kawaguchiko or Hakone by bus, this will be where you come to ride the bus. They have JRE service counter and also English-speaking tourism center on the third floor, so you might want to drop by for finding information. There are several department stores and shopping centers connected to the Shinjuku station, but Odakyu department store closed recently. Odakyu department store is reconstructing to the building higher than Tokyo government building, and other department stores connected to Shinjuku station are following. Now let's head to the west exit and see the Shinjuku area. Nishi means west in Japanese. This area has lots of tall buildings, and the oldest building is Keio Plaza Hotel, which is built in 1971. There are other large hotels like Washington Hotel, Hyatt Regency, Hilton, and Park Hyatt. You can walk through underground, but the underground connected to east to west of Shinjuku is called Shinjuku Dungeon. As a joke, because everyone gets lost. So it might be nice to walk the ground level if it's sunny. Something you might want to see next is the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building Observation Deck. It's free and you can see the view from 202 meters high. Under the building, you see Shinjuku Chuo Park. Chuo means central. The park is a good place to walk around with coffee and just chill looking at the buildings. If you want to take a rest, there's a Starbucks in the park and Denny's in front of the park. If you have children with you and they are bored, there are some places to play around in the south side of the park, in front of the Park Hyatt. Now it's getting dark, so let's go to see the night of Shinjuku. Kabukicho is a town with lots of drinking bars and some adult fun. It's not a very clean place in daytime, but recently some hotels opened, so there are lots of tourists staying in this area too. The Godzilla looking down on the street. You see all the selection of chain restaurants and izakaya, which is a Japanese-style dining bar, so you have lots of choices to eat. Tokyo doesn't have much of tourist travel scams, but be careful not to follow someone talking to you, even if that is a restaurant. Let's eat. Takoyaki Ona in Dako. Usually, Kindako doesn't have a place to eat, but this one you can eat there and drink. It's a perfect spot for the kind of the light snack. Hakata Tenjin is another popular chain restaurant with the ramen. You can enjoy the tonkotsu ramen with white soup. And you can ask for one refill of the noodle for free, so make sure you leave some soup. Omoride Yokocho is a small alley that many dining bars are gathering in the small area in the northwest of Shinjuku Station. Japan is not so famous for clubbing or night market, but you find tons of places to drink. 
Let's eat yakitori now. It's just really good. I'm not so strong to alcohol, so just one drink. It was really fun and I hope you enjoyed too. Thank you for watching. Have a great week until the next video.